Hello, Temple friends, and welcome to episode 109 of TempleCast. I'm Jim Gennady, pastor of Temple United Methodist Church in North Coventry Township, Pennsylvania. We're praying that all is well with you and your household as we move through a second autumn in the shadow of a global pandemic. There have been some positive signs that the current wave of the virus is beginning to ebb. However, several people that I know are currently ill with the virus, although I have not been exposed to it myself, as far as I know. Still, that number is higher now than at any previous time in this pandemic, even during the major surge at the very end of 2020. So please keep protecting your health and the health of those around you. Today we'll hear readings and prayers for Wednesday, October 13th. We'll begin with this prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. O God, our refuge and strength, true source of all godliness, graciously hear the devout prayers of your church, and grant that those things which we ask faithfully we may obtain effectually, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from Psalm 18. We'll hear verses 1 through 6 and verses 16 through 19. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me, the torrents of perdition assailed me, the cords of Sheol entangled me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called upon the Lord. To my God I cried for help. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. He reached down from on high. He took me. He drew me out of mighty waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Here is a prayer from St. Augustine's prayer book. Holy God, your knowledge of me exceeds what I grasp or see in any moment. You know me better than I know myself. Now help me to trust in your mercy to see myself in the light of your holiness, and grant me the grace that I may have true contrition, make an honest confession, and find in you forgiveness and perfect remission. Amen. Our next reading comes from Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. Jesus said, there was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. He called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so, and no one can cross from there to us. He said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may warn them, so that they will not also come into this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. They should listen to them. He said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced even if someone rises from the dead.
And here is a prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our next scripture comes from Paul's letter to the Christians in Rome. From chapter 15, we'll hear verses 7 through 13. Welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God, in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will confess you among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again Isaiah says, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Our final and brief scripture comes from 1 John chapter 2, verses 7 through 11. Beloved, I am writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you have heard from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a brother or sister, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go because the darkness has brought on blindness. And we'll close today with another prayer from St. Augustine's prayer book. Grant us patience, O Lord, to follow the road you have taken. Let our confidence not rest in our own understanding, but in your guiding hand. Let our desires not be for our own comfort, but for the joy of your kingdom. For your cross is our hope, and our joy now and unto the day of eternity. Amen. Thank you for listening. Temple Church meets for worship at 10.30 a.m. every Sunday at the corner of Temple and Unionville Roads in North Coventry Township, Pennsylvania. Our services are live-streamed via our Facebook page, and those recordings are posted every Sunday afternoon on our YouTube channel. We will be back in your feed in a week. Until then, grace and peace to all.